So I get all ready, and this time he wants to introduce me to his friends. We've been dating for a while, we're throwing around the I love yous, we're happy. So I go to New York, and I'm meeting some of his best friends, these big people that own big shit, and I want these people to like me. So I get this extra small spank that is like, <laughs> and when I tell you, you are like Nicole Richie back in the day when she was like eating disordered out skinny. <laughs> I put the spank on, I got this like tight black dress, I walked in this restaurant, like hair blowing in the wind, it probably wasn't really blowing, but I saw I imagine like see it. <laughs> the hair was blowing, I was just like the chick to bone in the restaurant, okay? <laughs> Which felt great, obviously all of his friends wanted to bone me, he wanted to bone me, I was like, fuck, thank you, spanks, thank you, extra, extra small, they make an XXL, it's amazing. So I get back to his hotel and I'm like, I'm not gonna mess up this time. I'm going straight to the bathroom before anything crazy happens and I'm going to take off the Spanx. So I run to the bathroom and I start to try to take these things off. <laughs> it takes a fucking village to <laughs> okay? It is not easy and these things were not coming off. And when I tell you when you try to squeeze something bigger and an extra, extra small Spanx is not cute. So. I pretended, I knew that I wasn't gonna get these off unless I asked him to help, which I'm not doing, my pride is not allowing that. So I acted like I lost one of my earrings downstairs in the lobby and I needed to find it because it was like my favorite pair of earrings. So I ran down, had this whole fucking discussion with this woman at the front desk that doesn't allow scissors to leave the front desk of the hotel. God forbid a pair of 4 dollars fucking scissors are standing in the way of me and my dude. So I get this whole thing with her, I give her my credit card, I take the scissors, I run back upstairs, I chop these things off in the bathroom. I'm like, what do I do? I don't have my purse, I have nothing in here. So I'm like, if I throw them in the trash can, he's gonna see them. So I roll them up, and you know how they have the towels rolled on the like thing? So I roll them up and I shove them like inside the towel. So there's no, I'm gonna get them in the morning, duh, like whatever, so it's fine. <laughs> so, so we have like amazing sex, it's great, I like excelled, I did so good at being like the hot girl that he's with, all the friends love me, I was like on my way to being like the cool celebrity girlfriend. So, which is fucking lame, but anyway. So, we wake up in the morning, he goes to the bathroom, I'm like passed out, we like did it every which way, so I'm like dead. He's in the bathroom taking a shower, I kinda hear the shower, I remember just hearing little things. Then I immediately remembered that I put these spanks in a towel. So I'm like, okay, it, chances are he's not gonna use that towel. Okay? Ch chances are it's gonna be cool, so I'm, I'm okay for now. He's up in there, comes out, and I'm sitting here pretending to sleep, like, you know, your eyes flicker when you're trying to pretend, like, you're trying to look all cute. And I look over and I open my eyes and he had my Spanx, my cut Spanx on his head. <laughs> so he said, and then he said, you know, Aubrey, you can never trust a woman that wears Spanx because she's already lied to you. <laughs> so, that was his cute way of saying stop doing this. Um, and then that was also kind of my moment of knowing like I don't have to live in my trust issues. Like I don't have to like spend my life constantly trying to hide and lie about who I am. Somebody's gonna love me for me, every embarrassing little factor. So, oh wait honey, wait. <laughs> so I'm like super happy, I go back to my hotel, I'm like, in it, not even of the sex, but just the fact that he did that, the fact that he loved me. Women, we cover up things all the time about ourselves, and the fact that you're exposed and somebody really loves you still, it's like the best feeling in the world. It feels like love, whatever love is. <laughs> guys, like, same thing for you when you guys have small penises and we love you. And love you. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> so, we, oh, you didn't like that one, did you? <laughs> We're excited, we're both working all day. We didn't have plans to hang out that night, but we were gonna leave on a vacation the next day. And I'm like, you know what? I need to show him that I'm not a lie, that, that I love him, that I can put down my trust issues and be in this relationship. 
So I put on the jacket, and I'm like, I'm not going to wear any Spanx. I'm going to show up at his hotel, like, so cliche in a jacket with nothing underneath it, and, like, pumps, and, like, be sexy, and no Spanx this time. So I call him, and he's at home. He ended up going back home, and I'm like, okay, well, you know, what are you doing? Nothing, going to bed, long day, whatever. I'm like, okay. So I go to his place, and I'm like, this is going to be my moment, right? Go up to the door, knock, 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 nothing, lights are out. I'm like, okay, I must have fallen asleep, he's not hearing me. Call a bunch, nothing. So I'm like, all right, like whatever, I'm gonna see him tomorrow. So I start to walk back and I notice his car is parked out front. So I'm like, okay, he's probably there. Like, why would his car be here? And then I looked up and I saw a light come up in his place. So I go back. Knocking on the door, starting to feel those trust issues in my throat. I'm like, this motherfucker. Knocking, <laughs> knocking, knocking, nothing. Call, 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 like the one of those crazy bitches that calls like 13 times. <laughs> nothing. I'm pacing back and forth outside the house, like, okay, calm down. It's okay. He loves you. This is fine. I'm like, but he should be answering. <laughs> <laughs> I must have stood outside that house for a good 15 minutes. Finally, the lights come on throughout the house, door opens, he's looking disheveled, he's like, ah, babes, what's going on? I'm like, oh, you know, I wanted to surprise you, you know, I'm here, look, I'm really cute, I'm gonna have on, um, and then he's like, oh, he's like, that's so sweet, like, but I'm tired, we have to work tomorrow, we're leaving, like, calm down, it's fine, don't let your trust issues get you all crazy. So I'm like, yeah, I feel so stupid. Again, I'm embarrassing myself in front of this guy, you know? And now it's not the Spanx, it's not the external cover, but it's the internal shit that's coming out. So I turn around and I start to walk out and I look up the stairs and I notice the door to his bedroom is closed. I'm like, mm, I don't know about that. So I look around, I'm like, so there's nobody in here? No, I'm like, is there anyone in here. Hello? Anyone in here? Like, screaming. Nothing. So I'm like, okay, I'm just crazy. So he's like, yeah. Now I gotta go to bed. We start walking, puts his arm around me, kind of pushing me a little. And it was nothing but that tiny little push I could feel in his hand. I was like, this shit is not right. He's pushing, pushing, I'm thinking of the, the lights off, the car, the going to bed early, the door closed, the push, and I'm like, hold up. <laughs> he was like, literally had his arm around me, so I did like one of those NFL, like, you know those things that you do? <laughs> <laughs> I like, went around his arm and I matrixed my ass to the fucking sliding door, which he hadn't opened, so I'm like, I, I know all my angles, right? I'm like, spot things really well. So I know I'm not probably gonna be able to get up those stairs because he'll block me, but I know if I can maneuver around, I can head straight out the glass, sliding glass door into the window. So I run outside, push through this fucking window. He tried to stop me, but couldn't even touch my force. <laughs> push through this window and saw a naked chick on his fucking bed. So I dove through that window. <laughs> his fucking laptop was lying. The lamp broke. Everything on the desk was like a desk in front of us. Everything broke. I like t tumbled over like three times. And I don't know why, this is like such a random detail, but like I went over to see if she was alive. <laughs> <laughs> bed and she had her naked legs spread open I saw everything girl um, Sarah you want to talk about a wax vagina so, totally wax legs spread open I can see the scars from her crappy tit job I like this chick was horrid so I like, ran up and I immediately took her pulse I'm like are you alive she's like she's all fucked up and I'm like looking at her I'm shaking her I'm like are you alive do you know where you are and she was like, uh, I was like, I'll tell you where you fucking are. You're in my boyfriend's fucking bed. <laughs> Dropped her. This bitch is no use to me. I'm sitting there. He's trying to get in from the other side now. I'm sitting there shaking. I'm almost like, I don't know. It sounds so ghetto, but like I wanted to hit her. I don't know why, because like it's so like bad girls club, but for females, and if you've ever been cheated on females, like women want to go after the woman first. It's like, 
so stupid that we do that. But anyways, I'm about to hit this girl. Like, I really don't like her. And I looked over at the chair, and there were all her clothes on the chair. And she had a pair of fucking Spanx. And I realized her and I were soldiers in the same war. Nice. We were both doing the same thing. We were the same person. So anyways, Needless to say, never talked to the dude again, never even knew who the girl was. Um, and I guess, you know, thanks can tie into my spanks. Like, thanks, thanks for showing me this guy's a piece of shit. Um, and also, I think the moral to that story is spanks do not lie. Men do. <laughs> Take when they want to come down from Coke. <laughs> so I'm told. So I'm told.